Hey everybody, Marcos Viegas here with Manuel Robles, the trainer of Oscar Valdez, Michael Conlon, Jesse Magdaleno, who else? Jason Quigley, Conlon. You got a, a good little stable now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Brazil. We have a good Dominic Brazil, Terrell Goucher. Busy these days, huh? Manny, Manny Robles, Emilio Sanchez, Joselito Velasquez. Pretty busy. Yeah, we have a nice little stable of fighters, man. Up and coming talent, world champions, as you know. So we're working hard. Busy, 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 man. Well, the fruits of your labor are coming to fruition. You had a big year last year. Speaking of Brazil, because I just remembered, that was a crazy fight with uh, Izu, I don't even know how to pronounce yeah. his last name, but holy crap, man. Wow, man, what a fight, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what were you telling him when all that was happening? Because it looked on many occasions that he was just about to go. Well, what I did tell him, uh, I believe after the fourth round was over, he came to the corner and I, I did everything to uh, catch his attention. And I asked him if he was okay, but he was looking elsewhere. He wasn't looking straight at me. So I had to really get on him and say, look at me when I'm talking to you. Are you okay? So he responded, yes, I'm okay, coach. He's looking straight at me. Then keep your effing hands up, I said, if you're okay. So, you know, I, I told him to not to abandon his defense. And keep your guard up. Uh, uh, um, work behind the jab. And, and then, you know, stuff that the combination when he jabbed and came over the top with the right hand, that was gym work. The first knockdown, right upper cut left hook, that was gym work. That was all gym work. So it's nice to, to see that. It's nice to see what you work in a gym. And it's nice to see that coming to fruition, fruition in a fight. So it's great. And it's great. I mean, what a spectacular uh, fight, knockout, if you will. I mean, it was just an amazing night. What did he tell you after the fight when he, he got the knockout? He's like, oh, my God. Like, I, I got it. <laughs> you know, I, I normally don't like to talk to my fighters about a fight yeah. after the fight. Uh, you know, of course, we, you know, whatever the case may be, when we win, great. If we come out on the losing end, then it, it's always hard. But you normally, I normally don't like to approach my fighters after a fight to talk about the fight. I leave that for, you know, for another day. So obviously we were extremely happy to get the uh, get the win, but we move on from that, you know. The incident that happened in the hotel. Well, what happened with that? Tell me your side because Dominic came out, Deontay came out, gave his side as well. So, so from your perspective, what happened? From my perspective, we were attacked by Deontay Wilder and his brother, among other people yeah. that I don't even I don't even know who they are. We were attacked in in the, in the hotel lobby. Uh, in Alabama, and uh, it's just a sh shameful uh, situation. Uh, this shouldn't happen in boxing. It's uh, uh, and it, it should not be overlooked. This, uh, 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 I believe, someone needs to be punished for uh, for for what happened that day. And uh, Deontay, I mean, I have no respect for Deontay Wilder or 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 his brother or you know the people that were involved. It's just a horrible experience. Uh, uh, I've never seen such a thing in boxing. You normally have find it at the at the at the day of the weigh-ins or at the press conference, but this was this was not an act. This was an act of violence, but this wasn't something that was made up to hype up a fight. No, not at all. This is terrible. So what what exactly happened? So you guys end up back at the hotel, and, and then there's a mm -hmm. scuffle, right? And then well, this all started at the fight. Yeah. You know, this is also according to Dominic. Dominic approached me. Uh, immediately, uh, so what happened was Dominic, but Dominic fought. He was sitting ringside, you know, watch the Deontay Wilder with Daryl Washington. As you know, we're friends to Daryl Washington. You know, we spar with him all the time. We have a good relationship. So obviously, uh, um, you know, Dominic was pulling. Must my, my, must have been pulling for for uh, Gerald. He was sitting ringside pretty much with his wife and two kids and his PR Jerry, and I was sitting with Carlos the Cut Man. That was a team, by the way, just us seven. Uh, 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 and so I was sitting at the other side of the ring watching a fight with Carlos and something happened there, uh, right immediately after the fight where apparently um, Deontay's brother approached uh, Dominic and that just so happened that they were sitting on the same row and came up to Dom and said something silly that you're next, you know, and he got really aggressive and, and Dominic had his five-year-old son sitting on his lap so I know Dominic would and Dominic's a smart guy, I mean he's a He's a great individual. I mean, he's a family man. Everybody that knows Dominic knows that Dominic would not th threaten anyone you know, th with their lives and their families. Come on, he's got a family of his own. He's there with his wife and kids. So anyway, this guy, 
apparently went to his big brother and claimed that uh, that that uh, Dominic threatened Dominic threatened him and uh, threatened him for his and the family. And uh, uh, so then uh, a big fight broke out at the a big argument broke out at the at the uh, at the venue. He walked away from it as a smart person. He he got up with his wife and kids. I met him in the in the locker room. Uh, the wife explained to me what happened. It was shameful. We went to the commission. We told the commission what happened. So what did they do? They had one someone assigned from the commission to walk us back to the hotel. The the venue was walking distance. So so then they walk us back to the hotel. We go up to a room. Uh, uh, you know we're celebrating. We're having a good time. Uh, it's t you know we're getting ready to go have dinner. So we go we immediately go downstairs. Again us seven. Uh, uh, the cut man, myself, Jerry, Dominic, come in, Carlos, wife and two kids. That was a team, set, all seven of us. So anyway, we, we, we make our way down to the lobby. As we walk out of the elevator, we see the opponent, gracious enough, kind enough to take a picture with us and, you know, like good, showing good sportsmanship. Hey, great fight. Uh, Izu, great fight. Uh, uh, we take a picture. I took a picture with him and the kids. Great, you know, hey, you know, we walked, we walked away. We were heading towards the uh, hotel lobby to exit the lobby to go, you know, go to a restaurant and, and, and get something to eat. And uh, as we were as we were approaching the exit, uh, Deontay came out of nowhere. Deontay came out of nowhere with uh, uh, um, this brother and a, 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 a fleet of people and uh, and just got in his face. Deontay got on Dominic's face and, you know, I don't, who knows what he might have been telling Dominic. But I was in the middle of it all. I never left Dominic's sight. I always had my arm around him. I always, I always had contact with him. And I put my, my arm in between and I said, hey, come on, man, he's with his wife and kids, man. He's got his family. He didn't care. He just kept going and going and going, got in his face and, uh, and got jumped, man. He got jumped. He got, he got, he got, you know, he got beat down. I mean, he got sucker punched by, by, by the brother. And I, and I have footage. You know, and I can gladly show you uh, what went down. But uh, never did Dominic threaten him or, or do anything. He was approached by Deontay, and Deontay got in his face and just went off on him, and the brother went off on him, and then all of a sudden, you know, he got beat down, man. And uh, it got pretty bad. I mean, it got to the point where I said to myself, I said, man, we're going to get jumped here, man. We're going to get our butts kicked right here. But um, luckily, you know, I, uh, I I saw Lou DeBella and I asked for Lou, I lost I asked Lou DeBella to help for help help you gotta help us you gotta help us so he came out long story he came out and he kind of like calmed the situation down and then everybody disappeared there was no security there was no law enforcement until after the fact and then then everybody showed up and then that's when they took the police report and. And, and we had to leave the hotel. We had to go spend the night somewhere else because we were fearing for our lives. You know, we were fearing for, not maybe necessarily for our lives, but we were fearing for our safety. I don't want to exaggerate, but it did get bad. Anyway, so we, we left and then we went to another hotel. Got up, we didn't get any sleep as you can imagine. Got up and left and took a flight and now we're home. Would you I have no intention to ever go back to Alabama. <laughs> what'd you make of Deontay's version of events? And did you read his I, I, response? No, no, no. You know what? I don't even know what he said. I know the truth. I, I don't know what Deontay's version is or what his side of the story is. I know the truth. I know what happened that day. I know we were attacked. I know Dominic and his family were attacked. And it's shameful because he was there with his wife and two children, two small children. And they had to be witnesses to, to, the, to the attack. So it's terrible. It, it's te it shouldn't happen in boxing. He's a representative. WB super heavyweight champion of the world behaving this way. It should not go. It should not go unpunished. All right, Manny, they're kicking us out. So uh, thank you for uh, talking to us and giving us some time. Uh, I'll check back in with you to yeah. talk about the rest of the fighters Absolutely. on this card. Here with Manny Robles, thank Marcos you. Viegas for Fight Up TV.